Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back in the garden. We are jumping in here into the third week of flower and we're jumping right into day 17. I think last time you guys saw him was on day 13, so it's been a little bit since you last saw him. And if you use the sign in the back, the Green Jeans Garden sign, you can see since the last time they've jumped well into the word garden and uh, have just continued on their stretch very nicely. But overall, the canopy is looking fantastic perfectly even regardless of the spectrum, but definitely even within the spectrum and across the whole board. Really a really nice canopy if I do say so myself. Um, but since we're here on day 17, that's for a reason. And that's because today we are gonna be doing the defoliation, the heavy leaf strip. Uh, actually throughout the last week, we've kind of cleaned up pretty much everything up to the flip line or the, uh, the kind of bottom trellis. You can see down here, there's just a few fan leaves that are down here that really cleaned up. Most of the uh, kind of small notage, things like that, have all been more or less, you know, lollipopped during, uh, during week two. But now we're gonna do the heavy leaf, heavy leaf strip, get all this foliage out of here, get to this middle canopy, and allow both light and airflow everywhere into the canopy. We've noted that uh, the photo boost side is slightly thicker, bushier than possibly the all white side, although both of them are looking quite nice today and the little differences that are here are extremely, extremely subtle. But with that said, when we do this leaf strip, um, when someone actually mentioned in the comments, it's a great idea, it's one of the ways when they actually do scientific tests, gotta measure all the biomass produced. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna defoliate the right side, the photo boost side, and then we're gonna defoliate the white side and we're gonna keep the, um, all the leaves and everything that we take off separate between the two lights. And that way at the end, we can count it up and see how much we pulled off of each side. Just a good metric to have and it'll give us kind of an idea of, you know, if there's more heads over there, we're probably gonna defoliate a little bit more. So it'll be a good measurement as well as just visually to check out afterwards. Once we do all that, despite what the weight says, I think it'll give us a good idea of what's going on in these canopies. We'll get a much better visual and then don't worry. I know that's a big, very controversial topic, defoliation, but in a high, you know, in a high performance garden like this, where we have an extremely dense, dense canopy filled with heads and foliage, and our primary concern here is floral development all the way through this canopy slab. So we have 36, you know, 30 inches of canopy here that we want to develop, or 24 full, full inches of canopy that we want to develop. So to defoliate is gonna give us direct light onto the most sites. Now that's important because plants, plants, and from their tops to their bottoms, plants have a, what's known as a shade avoidance response. And then obviously the opposite is when they're in dominant sunlight, they don't have that shade avoidance response. So the more light we can get to the sites, the branches, the bud sites, everything, the less shade avoidance response we're gonna have, the more stacking, the thicker development, the tighter nodes um, that are gonna come up, as well as just tighter bud development and that's what comes along. We'll also see a nice decrease in humidity, although my ambient conditions have helped me out recently. It's not all rainy and nasty, humidity's been nice in here, but that'll help keep it up, as well as just the general airflow that it'll produce. See all this, this foliage blocking that airflow, that'll get all the way back in there, as well as if there are any pests, if there are any pathogens in here, which I, I'm gonna knock on wood, there aren't. Wood. Um, there aren't, if there are, this will get rid of some of them. Um, as well. So th there's, there's plenty of benefits. And like I said, it is a high performance garden in the fact that we're feeding it in a hydroponic manner that will give it everything it needs when it needs it in basically a 100% plant available form. We're not going to have to rely on reserves. And by the time, you know, uh, flush and anything that were to come along that would start pulling from reserves and get in this in essence, as we've talked about, go check out my flush video. Um, all of this growth is going to be back. We're going to defoliate this here heavily and then in a week, two weeks, it's gonna look like we never even touched it. But it'll give the, the buds time to get that light, get out of that shade avoidance response, and uh, you guys will see. So enough rambling. I'm gonna get you guys up in the corner there, and you guys will see, like I said, we're gonna separate the leaf mass, all that, and I will get back with you after the defoliation. I gotta make this quick. I don't have a ton of time tonight, so... Uh... All right. All right, 
So photo boost side done. That was quite a bit of work, about an hour and a half just on this one side. And it looks pretty good. You can see all the way through the canopy into the back. Um, went a little light up here because I, you know, like I said, I'm separating the leaf matter. So I didn't want to cross contaminate my buckets here. So we'll clean these, uh, the middle and the last bit up towards the end, but time to move on over to the all white section. Okay, the white side's done. You can see the stripping is even across the board, looks similar. I'm not gonna say anything about what, you know, we've talked about their differences, subtle differences. I'm not gonna say anything right now. Um, if, you see, if you see something, you see something. If not, we'll talk about it in a little bit. But uh, just wanna do one note. Now that we're done here, we'll check up in a few days and really see how these perked up and just responded. But one last thing is, um, you know, I say we don't need the nutrient reserves that are in those leaves, but what we do need is the water, water, water that's in them. Um, so just at the end of strip before and after I leaf strip, I water. So I watered them before, gave them about half hour to absorb it all, and then leaf strip. And now after they've been sitting here for 20 minutes or so, and we're gonna give them one more watering. Again, I'm watering by hand, but uh, you know, however you water, just make sure you got some moisture in your pots because they no longer have any reserves for that either. But uh, no worries, they didn't skip a beat, and uh, so they don't won't need to bounce back, but they'll just continue to thrive. You'll see, really bulk up, it was nice. We went from three micromoles at the uh, base of the center of each plant, around three micromoles. So right in here we had three micromoles, now we have around 55. Awesome improvement, doesn't really matter, that's not, not a huge um, significance, but just the fact that that much light, more light comparatively is getting down through the canopy is great. All right, guys. So we're jumping back in here late. I wanted to get you in here, you know, obviously on the day 21, but a few days late here, day 23 of flower. And wanted to finish up the week, th week three defoliation update and to show you just how much they've bounced back. So obviously, it's if you haven't seen it before, you don't defoliate or anything. It's a very extreme approach but we do it for a reason. And we do it because we have a high density, high performance garden, and we need to mitigate the effects of high humidity as well as lack of light penetration for the depth of canopy we're trying to get here. So defoliation allows us to do that, and we do that by taking off the, pre the majority of the major fan leaves. Yes, they do photosynthesize, but the fact is newer, newer leaves are actually the most efficient at photosynthesis, and as they age, um, and as they get lower in light intensity as the canopy grows, uh, older leaves are less efficient. So it actually helps us in that way too. It's not just hurting them by, the, uh, by how much those big leaves photosynthesis. It's actually allowing the newer, more efficient leaves to grow up to their size where eventually they'll be somewhat inefficient and we'll start to take those off later in flower as well. Anyway. It improves the light penetration all the way down through the canopy, obviously, and it doesn't really matter what hits the, the medium. That's not so much important, but what is important is what hits this inner canopy and takes it out of shade avoidance, or even if it doesn't take it out of shade avoidance response, what it does is, like I just said earlier, the increase in micromole intensity is important because that's the, the increase factor that it's getting. Yes, there's not, not a change at all in the top canopy, but the overall photon absorption is much, much higher throughout the canopy, and the plants don't have to work so hard translocating any of the nutrients or anything that they would accumulate in these big families and have to send elsewhere. It's all very localized to the flower site, to the bud, to that specific cola. Now, again, this is in a very high density, high performance garden. Now, what I mean by high performance is we're feeding it exactly what it needs, when it needs, whatever it needs. And so even when we defoliate, you know, what you would think would be stripping it of all its nutrient reserves, it's never going to its reserves because it's always just basically straight out the tank. Um, so anyway, that is essentially why we defoliate when we're running a garden like this. Now sometimes when I run more, you know, four plants per light or something, bigger plants, I don't always defoliate as hard. With a garden like this and a canopy like this, you can see how thick it is on both sides, whether it's white or the photo boost side, it's beneficial. 
and will always be more beneficial to the whole canopy and every single bud that's going to go into the bag than non-defoliating. So, you know, somewhat of a controversial topic, but uh, you guys have been seeing me do it consistently for years now and selectively for a long time just because everyone grower knows they don't want that, that humidity, that the uh, sweating, things like that where they're selectively defoliating. This takes it to that next level. Anyway, you guys can continue to watch the results throughout the week. I want to get this up to you guys. Um, but before I go, someone wanted to ask when I defoliated, what was the weight difference or how much did I take off between the photo boost side and the all white side? And that's a great question. And the answer is 1,240 grams were defoliated from the all white side. 1,233 grams were defoliated from the photo boost side. So it's only a seven gram difference and I didn't measure it. It was what you guys saw at the end. I just had them into separate buckets down here, separate piles, and that's what they weighed out to. Now we come back in here and you can see I've got a couple leaves here, a couple leaves there that have just dried out and not really dropped out. I'm coming in here now that I'm feeling a little better to clean this out, get, get done with my laziness. And it very well could just even up the, uh, the weight difference but for all intents and purposes, we will just call it that. And the one thing I will note is when I did defoliate, I also, there was a few that I had to lollipop as well, take a little more, uh, take some sucker, some sucker uh, branches out more on the all white side than I did on the photo boost. The photo boost was majority, almost 99.999% just leaf foliage as where there were quite a few branches in here. Um, not that it's much difference, but uh, the fact that this one outweighed it a little bit here and there and here like right there watch this watch this right here dried leaf and uh, most of the leaves are weighing about a gram so seven leaves difference not much of a difference at all all right guys so uh, you I will pick you guys up next week right here and we will continue throughout the week I'll get the better I'll get the uh, we'll get off the wide angle lens here we'll be able to get in see some trichomes a little bit better probably also do some macro b-roll and stuff as it gets a little more exciting in here uh, stay tuned on instagram at green jeans garden always trying to shoot macro shots if i have some trichomes to shoot and obviously i am the terps have really turned on super hard the last two or three days here so next week should be good for my nose and uh, i'll try to translate it visually the best i can to you guys so stay tuned for the side by side the watermelon skittles the whole deal seems to be a good run so far and we will just ride it out so thanks guys peace Green jeans go.